Michelle, just explain what you're doing up in Conway for the European Amateur Team Championships Golf. Well, I'm the anti-doping administrator for the International Golf Federation and I'm here to work with the Golf Union for Wales as well as on behalf of the International Golf Federation to demonstrate that our anti-doping policy is worthy of uh, Olympic status. And this is a step forward in terms of golf policing the anti-drugs policy? Well, this is a major step forward for the International Golf Federation. We've always had great cooperation from all the national unions and federations working with their national anti-doping organisations. But this is the International Federation now stepping out and showing that it will work in partnership in order to be able to have the International Federation's own anti-doping programme. Not that there's been a drugs problem, particularly in golf, but uh, in order to be part of the Olympics, this is a serious part of that bid. This is a very serious part of the bid because certainly any sport that wants to be part of the Olympic Games has to be able to demonstrate that it can do in-competition testing as well as out-of-competition testing and be able to, to liaise with the right personnel to deliver drug testing effectively across the sport. So doing drug testing in an event like this, what sort of problems can there be in golf? Well, certainly if the players aren't prepared for the possibility of their being testing, uh, they were, may not have known to check their medications, they may not have known that it's very, very wise to stay well away from controlled substances like cocaine or cannabis, uh, where they might not think that they've got any performance-enhancing benefit, but certainly they are banned in the sport. Is there a difference between the professional side and the best amateurs in Europe who are here, of course? Well, there's no difference when it comes to the anti-doping policy, except perhaps on the professional side, one of the things I would say is that we operate the full list of substances all year round. With the amateur side, we follow the wider way of doing things, and that means that they have a restricted list for out-of-competition testing and the full list in competition. Whether there's going to be any difference, well, we'll gather the data and see. It's quite nice for us here to think that up in, in Conway for this event, there's a step towards including golf in the Olympics being taken. Absolutely, and this will be a major part, and I've certainly thanked all the players who've been part of that as being helpful towards golf, hopefully getting Olympic uh, status. And where does this go next? Does this campaign step up? Well, certainly we're looking across the programme of events that, the, that are going on. We're looking at the participation of players in and out of those events, and we're looking to plan our testing with the national federations and unions to see that we can actually deliver an effective testing program as would be expected of us at least in the year prior to the Olympic Games at a very high level. Great, well good luck with it, good to see you here. Thank you.